After the four sutras on Abhyasa and Vairagya, two on Abhyasa, two on Vairagya. In this particular sutra number 17, Maharshi Patanjali describes and discusses about the Sampragnata Samadhi. As we know that in the beginning, first two sutras, when we try to understand and define what is yoga, we said that yoga is not just joining, not just yoking. Yoga has to be taken in the meaning of the samadho. And that samadho, the samadhi state, the state of the samadhi of the chitta, the state of samadhi on the way towards nirodhaha prashantavahita and that is the state is discussed described defined in this particular sutra in this 17th the discussion will be on Sampragnata Samadhi and the next sutra, the 18, will be on the Asampragnata Samadhi. Sampragnataha, it is Sampragnataha, that which is completely known in all its details. Gnataha is one who knows everything. Just for understanding, Somebody, somebody travels to a particular place and reaches a place or when he returns he knows all the details of travel all the details of the place which he visited and he knows everything of the entire journey that knowing everything in detail minute then he is called as Jnataha Sampra Jnataha completely without missing any minute detail that is Sampra Jnataha that means in this particular sutra the hint and the discussion is that the consciousness the mind which is in the process of meditation reaches somewhere a particular stage and not only the word Sampragnata hints or gives that meaning just before that the word Anugama Anugamat Anugama is following accompanied somebody follows somebody Somebody accompanies somebody. Somebody accompanies something. That accompanying, following is called Anugama. Anugami. Anugamat. That means this state of Sampragnataha is accompanied, is followed after, accompanied by that is the meaning it conveys. And it is accompanied after, accompanied by, followed by, followed after the four stages. The first stage is Vitarka, the second is Vichara, the third is Ananda and the fourth is Asmita. These are the stages before the Sampragnataha. If a person is sadhaka and the consciousness and the mind 
is in the state of sampragnata samadhi it means it has gone through it has passed through these four stages and the first one is vitarka tarka is questioning vitarka is vina tarka that is reasoning rational thinking rational thinking of what the rational thinking or the reasoning is as the chitta and the mind is going into a very deep stage what was hidden what was packed up that starts coming out it's like a pressure cooker or a pressure vessel once you remove or open the lid what is inside starts coming out while it is coming out there is a necessity there will be this faculty of vitarka which starts reasoning it which needs to be reasoned about the direction about the path about the necessity and that is the vitarka level and as as we understand that tarka is the question and vichara follows ananda comes then yasmita that's why sampragnata samadhi is that which is accompanied by reasoning reflection or rational then bliss and a sense of pure being that is the vitarka vichara ananda asmita anugamat sampragnataha sampragnata samadhi is that which is accompanied by anugamat reasoning vitarka vichara deliberating reflection bliss ananda asmita asmita is not ego a pure being of ourself a sense of pure being our real nature so this is the stages before that so it is not a jump from one to the other it is sequential progressive movement sequential progressive serial nature is unfolding this unfoldment of one stage further than the other stage it's not that new things are happening what is there is unfolded what is there came into our knowledge what was not in our knowledge early, earlier came into the purview of our knowledge that is sam pragnata it is that which was there but not known that which was there but not came into our experience now it has come into the experience and that has come as a natural unfoldment and this natural unfoldment is anugamat that is anugama and the first one is divitarka and this is these are the different stages which comes into the process before the sampragnata comes swami vivekananda beautifully explains this particular sutra i quote questioning the elements as it were that they may give up their truths and their powers to the man who meditates upon them again in the very same meditation when one struggles to take the elements out of time and space and think of them as they are 
ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ನಿರ್ವಿತರ್ಕ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನಿಂಗ್ when the meditation goes a step higher and takes the tanmatras as its object and thinks of them as in time and space it is called savichara with discrimination and on the same meditation gets beyond time and space and thinks of the fine elements as they are it is called nirvichara without discrimination the next step is when the elements are given up either as gross or as fine and the object of meditation is the interior organ the thinking organ and when the thinking organ is thought of as bereft of the qualities of activity and of dullness it is then called sa anandam the blissful samadhi in that samadhi when we are thinking of the mind as the object of meditation before we have reached the state which takes us beyond the mind even when it has become very ripe and concentrated when all ideas of the gross materials or fine materials have been given up and the only object is the mind as it is when the sattva state only of the ego remains but differentiated from all other objects this is called asmita samadhi and the man who has attained to this has attained to what is called in the vedas the bereft of the body this is how some vivekananda beautifully gives what happens what is the deeper layers of the mind when we are meditating when we are handling our mind for meditation on a particular object the object is there that's why it is sampragnataha there is another reason that sampragnataha is based on pratyaya pratyaya means an object and the experience of the object there cannot be an experience without an object any experience has an object maybe external or internal if it is a thought thought is an pratyaya so sampragnataha has a pratyaya but as beautifully swami ji explained it just from the object level to its components level constituent level then into its qualitative level then beyond that just the mind itself then the asmita level that is how the progress goes deeper and when we say there is a tarka there is savitarka and nirvitarka with reasoning and without reasoning similarly vichara has with deliberation and without deliberation similarly nirvichara savichara and nirvichara then with ananda sa ananda and sa asmita it is so all these six types six stages six dimensions six layers which are very deeper in the progressive unfoldment of the meditative meditative mind finally when it reaches into the sampragnataha is a very important sutra when we have an overall outlook of the samadhi in patanjali yoga sutra we find that patanjali handles samadhi at a different various sutras in different padas the three stages of meditation leading to samadhi were discussed in the third chapter vibhuti pada first four sutras gives that then the sampragnata and asampragnata samadhi in this particular chapter 17 and 18th sutra then what are the essential processes involved in samija samadhi we find it in the 41st sutra of this, this same chapter then the different phases of samija samadhi were discussed from the 42nd sutra to the 50th sutra of the same first chapter in the samadhi pada 
and what are the techniques of nirbija samadhi were discussed in the 51st sutra of the same first chapter and the third chapter 8th sutra and the fourth chapter kaivalya pada 26 27 28 and 29 sutras they handle with nirbija samadhi and what are the three kinds of transformations which are involved in the samadhi we find them in the vibhuti pada 9 10 11 hang 12 sutras this is how mahar patanjali covers clearly specifically samadhi in various sutras in the yoga darshana and this particular sutra of the sampragnata samadhi which we have seen corresponds to the four stages of the gunas about which we we discuss again in the 19th sutra and as it is said that anugamat is associated or accompanied to the sutra broadly means that the four successive phases or the four successive stages of sampragnata samadhi are accompanied by various functions and activities of the mind which are denoted by vitarka vichara ananda and asmita respectively so when the consciousness of the yogi leaves one plane that is the plane of vitarka and enters into the plane of vichara pratyaya is there so the pratyaya the object in the plane of vitarka again savitarka sampragnata nirvitark sampragnata to savitark sampragnata pratyaya is there nirvitark sampragnata pratyaya will be there then after leaving that plane the consciousness of the yogi goes into the second that is savichara nirvichara then savichara nirvichara planes stages but there is also pratyaya again there but before the mind enters from this one plane to the other plane even in within the sub planes there is void there is blankness we cannot say blank it is purnatvam and that voidness that silence state is well hinted as sampragnata ha and that is where the characteristics of the pratyaya so from one pratyaya before the unfoldment and entering into the second pratyaya which will be a different one that gap is the asampragnata ha so in asampragnata as we have, we will understand it later there is no pratyaya between two pratyaya stages you find the asampragnata samadhi and beautifully the tradition says and experience and yogis explain and expose and exclaim that in that particular stage when the planes of pratyaya changing comes one has to wait but an alerted a concentrated mind keeps on in alert in a state of attentiveness to enter into the higher dimensions of planes higher dimensions higher stages when we say higher it is not upper when we say higher it is deeper that is how asampragnata samadhi has been discussed by maharshi patanjali and we shall wrap it up saying that sampragnata samadhi of the 17th sutra is accompanied by vitarka vichara ananda and asmita and that accompanied is the anugamat and after trying to understand the intricacies of sampragnata samadhi let us understand the next sutra for asampragnata samadhi the 18th sutra of the samadhi pada om shante 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 he